We've got some strawberry shakers. And see, I don't want to show you everything, guys, because I don't, I want you all to be surprised. But just know that it's going to be good. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. It's Misty, and it is Tuesday, which means it's vlog day, and it's also sale preview day. And I am going to do a haul today. Um, yesterday you had seen the video of when I went shopping for my birthday at an antique mall. So I'm going to show you the things that I purchased from there. Uh, it's not a lot of things, so it won't take up that much time. Um, and we're going to get some orders packaged up. I have a couple small orders to get packaged up. So we'll do that today. And I think I might do a little bit of tidying up today because it's a mess in there. It is quite a mess there in the shop. So we're going to tidy up a little bit. And, um, I mean, that's kind of a boring thing to watch, but, you know, it's vlog day, so y'all gonna see what I do on a normal day. Let's go ahead and go. We're going to go to the post office first. I do have some packages to drop off from yesterday, and then we will head on over to the shop and get started with our day. So I just got to the post office, and it is a hot one today. I have two bags that I will be taking in to drop off to go to their new homes. All right, I just dropped off my packages at the post office and I think, I think I'm gonna go run into Goodwill really quick. It's a small Goodwill, it won't take me very long. I just look at the hard goods and I'm done. So I will go in and see. They just had, this past Saturday was their half price day. So there's different theories. Sometimes people think that they don't put a lot on the shelves before that day because they're just kind of wanting to clear out some of their shelves. Some people think that they do load their shelves to get rid of some stuff that they've had in the back. So the shelves have been quite bare last week. So I'm going to go in today and just see, is it better stuff maybe since this past Saturday? We will see. We'll see if we can find anything before we go to the shop and do our actual work, okay? Let's go. Okay, I just got to the shop and lugging up some of the things that I got from Goodwill. It wasn't that great of a trip to Goodwill. I mean, I did get a few things, but although I'm thinking that the theory might be correct that they don't load the shelves until after the first week of the month, at least in my Goodwill, because the shelves had a lot more things on them than what they had in the past. So there might be something, there might be something to that. I did, I did want to go ahead and show you two. I'll just, ooh, it's dark. Let me go ahead and show you a couple of things that are down here on the floor. So dad went to some yard sales over the weekend and he, the, he got a little bunch of restaurant wear. So some of these pieces will be up for sale very soon during one of my live sales. I'm really fascinated with these. The yellow, or kind of like a, I guess it gets an avocado green and peach design. There's only three of them. They are Syracuse China. They, they need cleaned up. They, they will all get cleaned up. And then I have several of these are Pyrex. So those are kind of neat too. These are just pretty common. They're Syracuse China, but I like the ruffling around the rims. And this is the thistle that's a thunderbird so those are kind of pretty um, they're all the same color so i don't know but i like the restaurant wear that has different designs on it this is shenango this is the stuff that i don't want so that's just all kind of plain but i liked i liked these so these will all be cleaned up and if you are a restaurant wear person then you know, those will be available very soon. Okay, this is something that Dad pulled out of somebody's trash. So I thought I would show it. It's this metal box. It's really kind of neat. It's probably, it probably was a card box or a souvenir box of some sort. Um, it's kind of wonky there on the sides a little bit, but it's really pretty neat. The capital on it. I don't know if it has, yeah, it does. It says, oh, it's a fancy assortment. So it was a candy box from Sun, or a cookie box sunshine biscuits so that's kind of neat right 
I mean, that's, that's, that's worth saving. That's worth pulling out of somebody's trash. They were going to throw that away. No, that's, that's pretty. Now, I did start pulling some things for the sale, but not everything yet. And this box is heavy. And I'll go back here and turn on the lights. Because I haven't turned off on the lights in the back part of the shop yet. I do have a couple of eBay orders. Uh, there a deck of cards. And a calculator cover. So. Ooh. The deck of cards I know are in here. Again, this is very disorganized. But it's organized to me. Let's see. There they are. Harold's Club. Harold's Club cards have sold. I want to say for $6. Not, not for a whole lot. And then... The... in here is the calculator cover. Now, I picked these up from the bins. I think it sold for $12 or $13. So... These two things. All right, so let's go ahead. We've pulled those things that we need to sell out. So, I guess we should start packing those things up. Um, and we need to tidy up some stuff in here. I'm going to work on that today. I, I don't quite know what I'm going to do, but it needs, it needs tidying. It is a mess in here. All right, so let's go ahead and get these couple little orders packed up, and then we will start pulling some more things for the sale tomorrow. Okay, so the two things that we're going to ship out today, well, there's three things, but this, these two things for right now, is this little deck of cards. This is a deck of cards from Harold's Club in Reno, Nevada. They've never been open. They're sealed. Um, I think they sold for $12 or... No, no, these didn't. These I took a best offer, I think, of $5. That's right. $5 plus shipping. I've had them a while. They needed to go. So I will, um, you know, with certain things, a $5 purchase, I'm not going to gussy it up as much and put the tissue paper and all those things around it. It's sealed. It's protected in this baggie. I'll put my card on it, and I have these little bubble mailers. I'll stick it in a bubble mailer. Then here's my scale. Can you even see what I'm doing? There we go. I'll use my scale. Do you know what though? You can see right through this bubble mailer. And I don't like that. So I'm gonna just stick it into a poly bag. I don't like that you can see straight through it. So we're going to camouflage it a little bit more. And I guess it adds a little bit more protection to it. But it weighs 3.6 ounces. So I do 4 ounces. And then we've got this calculator cover. I got these from the bins. I think I got 3 or 4 of them. This sold for $12 plus shipping. I'm going to put it in a poly, a poly mailer as well. So I'm just going to just give it a little bit of protection by wrapping it up in some bubble wrap. Putting some tissue paper. Now the tissue paper I, that I buy, I do cut in half for the most part so I can get more uses out of it. The majority of the things that I ship are smaller items. So it just works best for me. And Again, you do not have to do any of this. You don't have to do tissue paper. You don't have to do any of these little things. I do it because I like to do it. And that's, that, that's why I do it. But it is not a necessary thing. You do not have to do it. So please, please just know that it isn't a necessary thing. It's just something that my weird self just, just enjoys to do. Let's make it look like that. Put it in a poly bag. I think it'll fit in here. Yeah. And that way, too, I put it in the bubble wrap just in case they were going to give it to someone as a gift. It protects it from getting sm completely smashed. And then I have this beautiful Hager 
bowl that sold in one of my live sales. So this one obviously is going to be a little bit more difficult, if you will. It. I like to put a filler in the bowl and I will wrap it twice in bubble wrap. too big because you don't want it to be you don't want it to be you know jostling around inside there so I'll put some air pillows in there because you don't want it to touch the sides of your boxes you want it to kind of be floating in the box and then I'll put some more it back up and you want to make sure that you're not hearing any rattling around. you don't want anything to be heard rattling around in there you want it to be as quiet as possible okay I just finished getting everything ready for tomorrow's sale and I think I hid all of the little tags so cheater McCheatersons can't cheat and look at the tag so um, I will flip the camera around and show you What's going to be available and man there's one thing that i'm i'm really loving and that is i'm not going to unfold it all the way because i have it folded so nice is this big starburst quilt it's it's fun so i also have a nice granny square afghan that i will be selling tomorrow and then this quilt which is amazing and some linens. I also will be selling another fairy lamp. Now, this one is also Indiana glass. I don't know the pattern. I need to, you know, I know, I know, just don't know Indiana glass. So I will be looking up this pattern. So by tomorrow, I will know it. Uh, but it's kind of a darker green. It's not as like a it's not as light of a green and every week for the next several weeks I will be having fairy lamps in every sale so just so you know with that and I do have some more saucy books I've got Dr. Thorndike's discovery it's a Dr. Thorndike mystery so we have that and I am going to sell some planters so we've got cute little Gotta hide the tag, because you cheater McCheatersons will cheat and know the, the number. This cute little spaniel planter, um, piece of crackle glass. Oh, and look, I'm also going to sell a Santa. He's a lonely Santa all by himself. He doesn't have his misses. So he'll be available. And so it's going to be, it's gonna be a fun sale. We've got some strawberry shakers. And see, I don't want to show you everything, guys, because I don't, I want you all to be surprised. But just know that it's going to be good. I'm still actually pulling a few more things. I don't have anything ready for the Instagram sale yet, so I need to get that ready. Um, but, I mean, it's some pretty good stuff, I have to say. And 
it's a lot of fun, a lot of fun stuff. I think that, I, I don't think that you're going to be disappointed. I really don't think you're going to be disappointed. I did, I do want to show you one thing that this will be available as well, is this little baby flat. That's not a flag, Misty. It's a fan. The little baby fan. Look at, they're holding up a bottle of 666. The, they are the 666 twins. Yeah. So these happy children are the 666 twins. And this was a medicine of some sort for malaria, headaches, and neuralgia. Neuralgia, I don't know head or chest colds, a laxative and tonic, and combined treatment. So you could buy 666, and these babies were the 666 babies. Why would you? I don't. But so, yeah. Aren't they fun? Holding up their bottle of 666. So that'll be available. That's just, it's just odd. This is one thing that I bought that I think I'm going to keep because I love it. So I'm just going to show it to you. Is this fan here with this like Gibson girl on it. I love this. I love her waves and her hair. It's from Cities Service Oil and Gas from Oblong, Illinois. It's in rough shape, you know, it's in pretty rough shape, but I think that she is, she is just the epitome of just glamor and beauty to me. I love old Hollywood. So she's very reminiscent of like a, a Jean Harlow or a, I just like, I like old Hollywood things, so that's, she reminded me of that. Um, I also got, it, like, you haven't seen a lot of these things before, so I'm kind of showing you some things that you've not seen. This, I got a basket of babies, just little babies. I love them. Now, I'm not real crazy about the basket itself, but I love the little babies inside. I think that they're made from bisque, and look at her. She don't have any pants on, but her is so tired. She's holding out her little cup, a little bow in her hair. So there's that one. She has, she's got, and she's just, look, aren't these precious? So you'll get the whole basket full of babies. She doesn't have any pants on either. They're pantsless babies. But she's got little pigtail, all bisque. No markings on them at all. And then a little boy. Now this says something on the bottom, but I can't make out what it is. But he's a little boy. A little boy child. He looks like a stinker, doesn't he? But he's got pants on. So apparently the boy children were allowed to wear pants. And the girl children were not. This will be available tomorrow, and it's amazing. It is a beautiful piece of enamel wear in a teal green so it's like a marble swirl enamel with the lid i have never seen this color it's in excellent condition it does have like a little bit of rust there on the bottom and i think it probably was part of a double boiler so originally it probably had a bigger pan that this set into so it was like it was a double boiler you know this would sit in and you put water in the bottom pan and you'd use the top pan to melt chocolate or, you know, whatever, to make candies and stuff. But I love the color on this. It's, it's teal and aqua. It's just, it's magic. And I also have a set of these fun cuts. These will be fun for a vintage camper. They're plastic. They're made by Cornish, um, which is made by the Thermo. It's a Thermo coffee cup, but... There's four colors, like a coral, kind of a tan, an orange, and my favorite, the teal. So these I think would be fun for camping. So those are going to be shown tomorrow as well. All right, so here is a peek. We've got some bone china and some chef shakers and cow shakers, several shakers, some several planters a piece of silver, a brass scale, some funsies. There's some funsies in here. This is this holds your eyeglasses. I do have a couple brooches pulled, some more shakers. And then on the Instagram side, 
we have some more funsies again that beautiful enamel pot a vintage miro tea kettle that has never been used uh, I I was going to keep this piece of Royal Copley because I think it's beautiful with the apple blossoms on it, but it's a planter too, And but I'm going to sell it. A real Hondo cow, just some more funsies, and look at this brooch. Yeah. So those are the things that I pulled this week. And I've got to the point, oh, I have some linens too, but I'm not going to show you those right now. I told myself that I was going to not list or not show as many things because it's a lot to get shipped out. If you think about it, I'm showing 60 items on YouTube and then another 15. So that's 75 items that I get shipped out in a matter of two days. Me. Um, I have, Emma has been helping me with it and that has been a tremendous help. So if we, if we, get our system down, then we can usually get things done in a day, in a whole day. So just know that when you are watching one of my sales, you probably won't hear from me at all until Thursday when I start sending out invoices because I just kind of am done after my sale. So uh, send me your message. Give me your all of your information. Your e, your, give me your actual name, your YouTube name, your Instagram name, if you're buying off Instagram, your shipping address, your PayPal, email. Yeah, and all that information so I can have it and so I can get your goodies ready to send to you. And I do ship very, very fast. So everything will go out by Monday. So just so you know, I, I do ship fast. Um, now I'm going to, since I got all that done, I'm going to kind of go up here. I'm going to take the tripod with me because I'm gonna tidy up a little area that's been really bugging me. Quite honestly, I mean, there isn't a lot of room here for me to work with. And, you know, I've had these Ikea bags filled with things that I have purchased at the Goodwill bins uh, on Valentine's Day. It's still just sitting here. Now, some of the things are things that I'm actually going to keep and take home. But some of them I'm not. So I'm trying to tidy up this little area here. I have these bins and I don't even know. Oh, there's some feet in that bin. I don't even know what's in some of these bins. I know that they are things to resell. Like there's some doilies. I think this was like some Walt Disney things. Um, what are you? You are a, I don't know what you are. What are you? What are you, Box? Oh, you're a Madame Alexander doll. Okay. Oh, oh, I forgot about these. Oh my gosh, I forgot about these. Okay, look. Oh, I am selling some paper dolls. Maybe I should show those in a minute. But look, here's some Ann Southern two statuette dolls and costumes. So the, oh, these I probably will sell next week. I am selling three sets of doll, uh, paper dolls. Look at her. And this, they're kind of like a plasticky. So there's her and him. Ooh, he's got on like a leotards. What is that outfit, mister? Well, I guess it's better than him being naked. But look, he can wear... He can be a that guy and then there's this lady in her undergarments but these paper dolls I mean these are like appl applique flowers oh they're just so cool I like that they're in this little folder too that's kind of fun all right let's put you in there with your girlfriends buddy so we've got Anne Southern and then this was I think this is yeah this is Disney. It's a small world. Paper dolls of many lands. So inside this little fun folder, we have, well, let's see. Oh, look at all of the little children of the world. But yeah, so that's paper dolls and it has all their clothes of all from their homelands. So that's fun. Well, you were looking snooty, Ann Southern. 
snooty McSnooderson. And then more paper dolls. And this is Dinosaur. Two cutout dolls and clothes. Made by Whitman. Copyright 1958. So, ooh, Dinah. Dinah's in there behind her mirror. So here's Dinah Shore. So that's fun. I think those all... Are the, no, that's not all the paper dolls. Here is Strawberry Sue. So, oh, see, Strawberry Sue is in her under undergarments. This is probably from the 60s or the 70s, I'm assuming. Then we have Buffy from Family Affair? Mrs. Beasley? I don't know. Oh, wow. There she is. There's good old Buffy. 1968. Family Affair. Has all of her clothes in here, too. And I wonder if Mrs. Beasley's in here. Oh, there she is. There she is. So that's fun. I, I picked these up at an auction a long time ago. What else is in here? Oh, the Hamburglar. Hamburglar. He's a McDonald's Hamburglar. I wonder what he's going for on eBay. Do you remember the Hamburglar? Didn't he say something like, blah, 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 blah. Didn't he make it like a sound? Like you couldn't understand what he said. Am I completely losing my mind? And then we've got Bugs Bunny. He is made by Mattel. Uh, I'm not sure when. Let's see. Do you still talk, Bugs? Hi. I'm... Oh. Now hug me tight. Oh, he still talks. He's fun. He's a rubber faced. Okay, so. I can probably put some of that stuff in this bin. And in this bin, I think these are things that have fallen off of eBay that I never did anything about. So these have all fallen off of eBay that I need to re-put back on eBay. And then I have some vintage sheet sets in there. I'm going to set my camera up on the tripod and... At least try to tidy up just a little bit, just so it's off my mind. tidied up just a little bit. I may get those Ikea bags put away. And I managed to just move them from one spot to another, but it looks better than the Ikea bags. Now this is something I'm going to work on next, but I'm not going to have you watch me. All I'm doing, these are boxes of things that I have ordered and just the empty boxes from mail and stuff. So I'm going to re, I'm gonna break the boxes down and then get them ready and I will stash them away with my other boxes. But yeah, this is just full of boxes and bubble wrap that I will reuse every single inch of it. I still need to move things around so I can get these storage boxes kind of put in a spot where they're not just, I feel like they're, they're falling in on me. So that will be the next step is just cleaning off a space. Emma's wanting to set up a, a desk and an office here as well. So we're going to make room for her to do that. And, but it just takes time because I've got 15 things going on here at the same time, but that's okay. So I, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here so I can uh, make sure that I get it up and get it edited because I'm filming this today and it's going to go up tonight at seven. So um, I'm going to get that done. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video now. Thank you so much for just joining in my haul vlog clean thing. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please, I would appreciate it. If you give it a thumbs up, if you're not subscribed, make sure that you are because you will be notified every time I upload a new video and my live sales are a lot
lot of fun. They're every Wednesday here on my YouTube channel at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I typically show about 60 things on YouTube and then hop over to Instagram and show an extra 15. So make sure that you follow me on Instagram too. And I will go ahead and say goodbye for now and I'll see you tomorrow.